Let's take an aerial tour of the former village of Benito. We'll start at nearly ground level with a quick shot of the Benito School Monument. Built with bricks from the former school, this mini version is located about where the original version once stood. This is what the school looked like back in 1998. That's how I remember it. It was built in 1915 and closed in 1974. It was torn down around the year 2000. Now, on with the tour from the air. We're flying over the brand new skate park. It was built in 2020 and has been popular with the kids ever since. As we start to turn east, we see Highway 83. That's the main highway that travels through Benito. You'll slow down to 50 kilometers an hour as you pass through town, but that gives you a great opportunity to get off the main road and see what else there is to offer. About center of your screen is where a bulk fuel plant once stood. And as we continue to look further east, we'll see the location of the former railway station. It was a busy place. There was elevators as well. That railway station was located just beside the track, right where you see a clump of spruce trees. You can see a train on this very track in another episode of Travels with Bill. The big roof below is the recreation center, and we're going to start to fly east over the downtown. You can see one of two playgrounds just to the bottom of your screen. The other one's located at the current school. Benito has a lot of businesses for its size. These days it's just under 400 residents, but it has a grocery store, pharmacy, insurance agency, tire shop, two hardware stores, a library, bank, and manufacturing businesses, plus the all-important coffee shop where the news travels faster than the internet ever could. Passing over Main Street, we can see many of those businesses. We're filming after hours to make sure we don't fall on anyone, but during the day, these streets are busy. Tonight, we see a semi from a local trucking company making its way to a parking spot to roost for the night. See that big cement pad on the left-hand side? Not that long ago, it was the local pool hall, laundromat, and another restaurant. It fell victim to a fire and was not rebuilt. We're just passing over the municipal shop in the center of the screen. Benito was once its own village, but when municipal amalgamation came along, it was forced to be part of the old rural municipality of Swan River. The area was renamed to the municipality of Swan Valley West. In the bottom right hand corner of the screen, we're passing over Benito Meats. Not only is it a great place to meet, it also has beef jerky that is out of this world. When you drop by Benito, you need to stop in and get yourself a package then you'll probably come back for more. We're quickly reaching the eastern edge of town limits here, but the houses continue on down the road with folks who like rural living. The end of the pavement marks the end of the former village, but as we turn to the north, you can see a quirk of the planning setup. Some of these houses were never part of the village, even though the village streets extend to their front door. Amalgamation was in 2016, but five years later, there's still some growing pains with adjusting the settlement to encompass everyone who's part of the community. See how big some of the houses are? Benito has all shapes and sizes, from the very small to the very large, and everything in between. It's a great place to set down routes, with the next major center being Swan River, about 30 minutes to the north. Lots of people here also travel to Yorkton, Saskatchewan when they need their Walmart or McDonald's fix. That green field in the top right hand corner is the former racetrack and fairgrounds. It's been repurposed as the Shaker City Disc Golf Course. What's up with the Shaker City name? It's the old nickname for Benito. You don't have to go very far to hear stories of Benito being the hottest town around on a Saturday night. It's a lot calmer now, but you never know when someone might squeal their tires for a moment of the good old days. We're passing over the Benito Health Center and the Lodge. The Health Center replaced the old hospital several years ago and, over time, has lost its hospital status to become just a health facility, but it's still part of the community Doctors visit here every couple weeks so that people don't have to travel out of town. 
Next to the hospital, we find Benito's school. This is the building that replaced the original school we looked at at the beginning of the video. It's been expanded over time and some of what you're seeing is the Benito Daycare Center. They serve daycare aged children so that parents can go to work. This is also the location of the second playground in town. It's a little bigger but can only be used by the public when school's not in session. We're coming up on Northview Service. That's on the right hand side of the screen, the white building with the big parking lot. There you'll find heavy truck repair plus a car wash. The farms up in the top of the screen are not part of the village. That's Highway 83 and it's always been the line where it turns from rural to urban settings. The Benito water treatment plant's passing just out of frame and now we're coming up on Ag Shield Manufacturing. They make products including sprayers but oh so much more these days and those are sold not only in Canada and the US but they've been sold around the world. Eggshield moved here from another community many years ago, but has found Benito the perfect place for their manufacturing business. Traveling down Highway 83, we're passing over a gas station and more houses, but in the top of the frame, you'll see the Benito Recreation Center. It's a mixed-use facility featuring a curling rink plus a hockey and skating rink. It also has a large banquet hall. Those grounds are home to that skate park plus one of the playgrounds. One of the things Benito's well known for is baseball. You'll see the baseball fields as we pass over. On July 1st, those fields come alive with a baseball tournament. You can't go far in Benito without hearing about a local hometown hero. Ed the Wrench Wernick was born here and only moved to Ontario after he was finished high school. In 1983, Wernick defeated Germany at the World Curling Championship. He went back to the Briar in 1984 and 1988, and then in 1990 made it back to the World Championships. That time around, Wernick defeated Scotland for the title. We'll take another swing through the downtown, this time staying to the residential side just to the north. Now you can see the Benito Hotel, that's the red brick building on the right hand side. Plus a little to the north, you'll see that large building, that's the library. Now the former library is the white building across the street. When the Swan River Hospital was torn down due to mold contamination, the temporary facility built in Benito helped house the patients. It's that temporary facility that was moved to the downtown to become the library when it was no longer needed for the hospital. Benito's always been home to a lot of trees, but Dutch elm disease hit the community hard. Many of the large elm trees have already died and been removed. Replanting's underway to bring more trees back to the community, but those trees that weren't elms are still sticking around and making the community very green. We'll come around in a moment and look at more of Benito, but notice the farmland off to the edge. Benito's always been a farming community and as part of the Swan River Valley is part of the most fertile area of Manitoba. They say a crop failure has never happened in the Swan River Valley and while things have been tough at times, it's never been a complete loss. That's good news for the businesses and even better news for the farmers. We'll cross the tracks now to the other side and we're coming up on a brand new development. Some of these homes were added fairly recently as Benito worked on expanding. As we fly through the area, you'll see there are some lots available. If you're thinking of living in a rural community that still has access to all the services, Benito might be it. The community has natural gas, as well as water and sewer service, lots of electricity, plus high-speed internet service. Getting somewhere from Benito isn't hard either. You're 30 minutes from Swan River, about an hour and a half from Yorkton, Saskatchewan, four hours from the city of Regina, or if you're looking to travel to Winnipeg, five hours will easily take you there from this western Manitoba community. We're now passing over the Benito Cemetery. 
This well-maintained cemetery features folks that help make the community great over the years. It's always a nice time to take a walk through and see those that came before, and take a chance to sit on the bench and reflect a little on life. Coming up to Highway 83, we're officially at the limits of the village again, but like all sides of Benito, the houses continue past what was originally just the village. See the green field on the left-hand side? Well, that's not a grain field this time. Instead, it's a pasture. See the small dots? Those are horses out grazing. When you travel through Bonito on Highway 83, you'll often see those horses in that very pasture. As we turn north once again, it looks like a rural area for a moment. We see the CN Rail Priestville subdivision passing beneath us, but it isn't long until we find Bonito back. These houses still on the west side of Highway 83 are officially just part of the rural area, but as we cross the highway again, we'll find ourselves back in the official urban area that's always been Benito proper. Here's a better look at those three baseball diamonds that are ready for your team, plus the recreation center. The grounds feature a campground with electricity. Camping's free, though you do pay nightly for electrical hookups. There's lots of space and always a great time to drop by the community. You'll find water service here as well to fill up your camper's tank. The white building just to the center left of your screen is the Benito Post Office. It's slightly unique that it also has a house attached to it. Now we'll take a close up look at the Benito Hotel, then it's time to have a little fun. Let's chase this car and see where it's off to in the metropolis of Benito. As the car heads south, we're passing over Benito Family Foods, the drop-in center, the insurance agency, the bank, the tire shop, and the restaurant. The car does pretty good stopping at the first stop sign, but will it stop at stop sign number two? Well, if you're local to Benito, you know many people don't stop at the railway tracks, and there it goes. It'll continue on down Main Street. Main Street in Benito is part of the highway system and maintained by the Manitoba government. The rest of the streets are maintained locally by the municipality. That's why you might see a little bit of differences between the big road and the rest of the streets. The car keeps heading south on Main Street as it passes houses. Thankfully, it's not going any faster than we are, so it's taking a nice, leisurely drive. Top speed for our drone is 36 kilometers an hour in the air, so if they are traveling too fast, we just simply can't keep up. The car turns off onto government road allowance, and we'll lift up the camera to take a look around the area surrounding Benito. This is what you see for miles in the Swan River Valley, field after field, farm after farm, but notice the houses around the community. Benito's never been a town that was just a small place with lots of houses located nearby. The official population count doesn't do justice to how many people call Benito home. There's one final look at the downtown, and you can imagine what Benito used to be with a railway station, elevators, and much more. Still, this small community has held its own far better than most others. The sun's setting on Benito, and it's time for us to bid you adieu. Make sure you subscribe for more Travels with Bill as we travel through Canada.